Hey Pisces, so welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be a general energy reading for you. Okay, we're going to see what is happening here in your energy at this time. Okay, what is it that you need to know this week? What is going on with Pisces? Now, this can be past, present, or future. Okay, take it how it resonates for you. You can be a cross watcher. Let's see, Pisces, what's going on with you this week? What's happening with Pisces here, holy angels? What does Pisces need to know today? What does Pisces need to know? Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So first card out here we have the Ace of Wands. This is a new idea. Um, some sort of inspired action. Some sort of a new spark. Okay, Four of Swords. You could be contemplating something. Okay, you're thinking about something here. Um, you could be thinking about a new idea. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Something's not working or something didn't work out. Hmm. Do I want these cards? Let's see here, Pisces. What's going on with the Ace of Wands? What is this new action? What is this new spark here, this new idea here for Pisces? The Ace of Swords. So you have clarity in a situation. You might also be trying to think of something here, maybe a new way forward because you know something, some path that you're going is not working. Six of Pentacles. This has to do with equal give and take and the devil. I mean, the devil could be a contract, okay? I, this might have something to do with a job, I don't know. You have some sort of clarity here, though, when it comes to equal give and take or um, something to do with money, okay? Fair money, fair pay with the devil. We'll have to see what the devil is. What's the Four of Swords here for Pisces? The Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're rejecting something and walking away. Something that you might have felt passionate about in the past, but now someone is walking away from this, rejecting something to walk away. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Something's not working here. The Page of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, I don't know if this is you, if this is someone that you're connected to, okay? Somebody might be receiving some sort of information or communication um, or seeing something. Somebody might be seeing something. They're gathering information. Someone might know here that whatever this is, to balance something out, it's just gonna take a lot of effort. So either you or whoever this is, somebody could be realizing that balancing something out and making something work is just gonna be a lot of effort. It's just gonna take a lot of work, okay? And someone here just doesn't feel like it's gonna be worth it in the end. Okay. 
So tell me more about this Ace of Wands here. The Knight of Cups. This has to do with an offer here. Or this is you, Pisces, Knight of Cups. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Betrayal and pain. What's this Ace of Wands? Relationship evolving to the next phase. What's the Three of Swords? I, I don't feel like this has something to do with love, if I'm being on Weird. Okay, so I was just going to say I don't feel like it has something to do with love, but it might. Okay, we have the Three of Swords here, which is about heartbreak and pain. Somebody is heartbroken when it comes to love, or someone feels betrayed in love. Somebody might have wanted something to evolve to the next phase here. Well, why is there heartbreak now in love? The magician. Because of a manifestation or what somebody wanted to manifest or what somebody was hoping would come in strength and reverse. What is this? Is it somebody's ego? Or somebody feels weak now. What strength reverse? No, is it? Sorry. Twin flames in reverse. So maybe somebody wanted a new beginning here, okay? Somebody might have wanted a new start or a new spark with something, but now someone feels heartbroken when it comes to love and weak because there's no balance here. There's no union here. Something doesn't complement each other. It's kind of like somebody wanted a new phase with someone where it's just not even probable. Like it's just not even... Um, it's kind of giving me a little bit of wishful thinking. It's like somebody might have wanted some sort of love to come back, but, um, or something to evolve, but this would have been the magician. This would have been having to create something out of nothing, like where there is actually no balance. There is no twin flame connection. Somebody wanted it to be so, um, and now feels weak that it's not coming in. Somebody might feel defeated. It's like kind of trying to push a, a like a circle into a square. Like somebody wanted something to be that just wouldn't be. Like it just wouldn't work. It just wasn't meant to be, but somebody wanted it to be so. So what's this Ace of Swords? This clarity. The moon. Somebody knew this deep down in their subconscious. Like, I feel like somebody deep down in their emotions knew that this is wishful thinking. Again, it's like that feeling of having this deep intuitive knowing that it'll probably never happen, but wishing that it could be, right? The Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Separation. Oh God, my back. Every time I have to bend over, I feel like I'm breaking my back. Okay. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning. Yeah, so this, is, this might be a past love relationship, okay? Something that's already over. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. So it's kind of like whoever this is intuitively knew that the best, that the action that they were supposed to be taking was towards acceptance and healing. Somebody knew that what they were supposed to be doing was letting go and releasing and accepting that something wasn't meant to be, right? Accepting that this wasn't, 
love or it wasn't it wasn't for the highest good or it wasn't balanced it was not a soulmate connection it wasn't complementing each other it's like somebody knew all of these things but they wished it could have worked or they wished they could have like gotten it to work which makes me wonder like what is it that somebody is trying to press into the form is it like because love should come down to the compatibility of two people right it's like the character of someone so if you don't if you know that a character is not meshing with yours then what is it that you're trying to mold is it like because that person looks good so you wishes their personality could change so that you know you can keep the looks or um confirmation or the money is good so you just wish something could change it's like it's like I'm not really understanding confirmation it's like what was it that somebody here wanted so bad okay or is it like um it's like deep down someone here knew that the separation was for the best but they didn't want to accept it because they wished it could be different and it's like you have to ask yourself what is it that you are trying to change here because if something doesn't if it's not me meshing then it comes down to compatibility so it, what was it that someone was trying to keep with them so then we have the devil here which is now making me wonder if somebody here just wanted to bind someone to to them because they just couldn't go through that adaptation or that healing that acceptance is what I'm getting really um What's the Six of Pentacles? The Fool in Reverse. Someone here maybe didn't want to have a new beginning or... It, it's Seven of Wands. Yeah, they could have been trying to stop a new beginning. So they don't... Um, they don't want to start over is also kind of what I'm getting, right? It's like somebody that just doesn't want to start new. They don't want to take a risk. They just wish that... It's giving me comfort zone. Like, I don't really want to start over. Like, dating is hard. I don't really want to find someone new. But the person that I'm with, it didn't work out and it's not compatible at all. But it's easier staying there than having to start over and heal, which is a little bit unfortunate. So somebody here might have been trying to block, block someone from leaving or block some sort of change. It's almost like it's blocking that step of having a new beginning or going out and feeling free or jumping into something carelessly like somebody might have been scared of taking a step it's kind of giving me being scared of fear okay having a fear of fear right so what's the six of pentacles looking at your photos missing you nostalgia yeah it's uh, so somebody wanted someone somebody wanted you okay i don't know if this is who this is somebody wanted someone else to give to them based on memories based on how it was in the past and the thing is when we look at the past and how we wish it could be more often than not our brain will start to trick us into thinking something was better than it actually was right so we you know your brain can alter memories that's kind of what this is giving me is that someone here is romanticizing a relationship that honestly is not compatible and they're romanticizing it based on the fact that they are scared of starting over they don't want to face their fears they don't want to um, have a new beginning they think about someone they're unsure of their own future um, they're just worried about starting new so what's the devil five of wands in reverse it's nine of cups so i guess someone's solution here was well how i can get what i want without someone fighting is by binding them to me with the look at that eight of swords and the devil okay so someone thought well if i just chain this person to me then then i'll be happy right 
and they won't leave. Look at that. Wedding rings in reverse. Confirmation, yo. It's like, so this might even be about a divorce, right? It's like someone wants to get a divorce and then you've got someone here that is unable to let go. And it's, it's not, it doesn't even have much to do with the person as it does with this like wishful thinking and this romanticized notion of like, I wish we could just have a new beginning, but it's not even a new beginning. It's like, I wish that you could just change who you are as a person so that you don't leave me and I don't have to start over and date other people because I'm scared of dating other people because I just wish that things were just compatible. It's such a weird energy, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't really know, like, what is it that this person wants from this, from this person? Because I honestly don't believe it has much to do with the personality as it has some, like, what is it about? The Knight of Cups. They want someone to give to them. They want someone's love. They want someone's affection. And they want stability. Nine of Pentacles. So this person wants stability. They want money. They want a pampered life of luxury. They, So that's why they don't want a divorce. Okay, so this is the kind of person that doesn't want to start over. They don't want to stand on their own two feet. They don't want to work for themselves. They liked it better when they were a pampered housewife, okay, where someone else brought home all the money or something like that. Houseman, house, house husband, housewife, however you want to put it. Um, Six of Pentacles, they remember, they're looking back at the past and thinking about how nice it was when um, somebody just brought home their money and was like, oh, you need 20 bucks here. Oh, you need some money for clothes here. Oh, you need some money for shopping here. So this was, this is somebody that's romanticizing a time in their life where being married meant that they had someone that was taking care of them. So that's what it is. This is not about, I want this person because it's compatible. It's not compatible at all. This is not a twin flame connection. These people don't, there's no balance here. There's no um, coupling. They're, these people don't complement each other at all. But this person has this romanticized view on, I want someone who takes care of me. Okay, so that's what this person is to them. It's somebody who is taking care of them and giving them affection and money. They don't want the person for the personality or for the love or for the, um, it's about what can this person give to me? I liked it when they were giving to me and if they leave and get a divorce, then, then I'm alone and then I have to date and then I have to find someone who's gonna give to me that seems like a lot of work. That seems like that's gonna take a long time to find someone. I have to date them for a while. And then I, you know, what if they don't wanna to give to me? And then, oh, it's gonna take years before I can get married again. And then, oh, it's gonna take so long before someone gives to me again. And honestly, I just really don't feel like being alone. Like who's gonna to give to me? I don't feel like going through that. I just wish it could be how it was and this person just stays with me and um, I don't have to change anything and it just stays the same. Okay. So, yeah. What's the Four of Swords? Death. <laughs> Yeah, this is about a final ending. It's about an ending. It could even be about a divorce. Wedding rings in reverse. Somebody is thinking about this ending here. And how somebody wanted to move on and they don't want to. Four of Pentacles. Their thoughts are with holding on to what makes them feel safe and secure. And I feel like it has a lot to do with um, latching on to people and also it has to do with money and finances so this is um, this is definitely a person that believes that as long as they're married or have a partner um, they're stable 
right? They don't feel stable on their own. They don't know how to feel stable without a second income. They don't want to have a, only their own income. They like it better if somebody else is taking care of them. Princess on a pod, okay? A little bit, right? So this person knew that somebody wanted to leave them, but whoever this this other person is, okay? This is just a security blanket. Like this relationship has nothing to do with love, compatibility, um, actual passion and chemistry between two people. It's it's literally like, like giving me like a marriage from like the 1700s. It's like, okay, we're married and now I'm gonna take care of you financially. Like I'll buy you a nice dress. Do you feel like I'm taking care of you? Oh, I'm gonna in invite you to the nicest parties, okay. Now I'm married, now I have nothing to worry about, right? It's like that. Like it's a very old fashioned kind of thinking, honestly. Like somebody just wants to be taken care of. Like a little, like this person sees themselves as like an adult baby basically. So what's the Knight of Wands? Queen of Swords. Okay, this could be a Queen of Swords. The Lovers. What's the Four of Cups? The Four of Wands. Yeah, so it might be you, okay, that walked away from this person in the past and got a divorce. This person is now feeling dissatisfied, rejected because you walked away. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this was bad news for them. This was horrible news for them that you're walking away from them. Because like, look what they're salty about though. Their stability, four of wands. That's what they're upset about. That's what they're sitting around sulking about. They're su sulking about the four of pentacles, which is holding on to resources and finances. And the four of wands, which is, you know, could be like a home, their stability, what's been built. They're not sitting around moping about the person. They're not sitting around moping about the individual that left them. They're sitting around moping about how they feel like they're losing stability and they're losing money and they're, you know, great, now I'm not gonna be stable anymore because my ATM is walking out the door. That was my ATM, how dare my ATM leave? That was, this person was supposed to build me a house. How dare that person leave me, okay? How am I supposed to build a house by myself? I am, I was born to be a pampered little adult baby, apparently, okay? <laughs> Who, you know, thought that as long as I get married one day, I'll get taken care of. It's a little bit like, grow up, okay? What's the Eight of Cups? Like, I'm just, like, the thing is, though, I'm the complete opposite of energies like this, so I don't have a lot of patience for it, okay? I'm going to be honest. Yeah, somebody moved on from them. <laughs> like, it's like, what, what do you want with this person? Like, what do you even want? Like, who wants to be in a relationship like this? This person is sitting around moping about how someone left them, wants a divorce, right? How they're losing their security and stability. Who the fuck in their right mind would want to be with a person when they know the only reason that they're there is because little miss over there can't take care of herself? That's why we're together. That's why you want me to stay because you are unable of taking care of yourself because you need a sugar daddy. That's why I'm here. Who in their fucking right mind would want to be in a relationship like that with a person when you know this person doesn't even want you for you. They want you for what you give to them. I mean, honestly, right? And then, and then they're sitting around wishing it could be different. Wishful thinking. Oh, I wish they would just come back to me. Why would you go back? And if you're in the situation, don't go back. What are you going back to? Someone who just, you know, misses the days where they were playing a housewife, house husband, and you were the one taking care of them? Like, okay. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? No, thank you, man. Like, you know, especially if you got kids, it's like, you already got kids. Like, what do you want with, a, with an adult baby that you gotta take care of too, man? 
outdated thinking. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. This person doesn't feel like working. Eight of Pentacles reversed. This is someone that's lazy. They're not hardworking. They don't work for what they have. They don't feel like working. They want to be a stay-at-home parent. They want to be pampered. They want someone to take care of them. Outdated thinking. L living like there's some housewife, house husband of, well, most likely a housewife of, like I said, the 1700s, thinking that, you know, all I need to do is marry a man and then he, they'll take care of me. All I have to do is have babies for the rest of my life. Like that's this person. Like they just are lazy as fuck. They're lazy. They're lazy. They miss the days where they didn't have to work so hard. They miss the days where they had someone taking care of them and pampering them. It's like, grow the fuck up, yo conditioning cassette it's just giving me this person is lazy not hard working at all doesn't feel like working for anything and stuck in the past man stuck in the wrong century okay they are stuck in the wrong fucking century if you ask me so what's like especially these days man they they are in the century or in the decade of you know this horrible inflation okay <laughs> people got to work to survive and then you got these these people sitting around oh don't leave me i don't want a divorce because i don't want to work man if you don't go to work if you don't start working if you don't start doing some shit you know you're gonna end up homeless okay just saying what's the page of swords like wrong wrong fucking century man paid the hierophant yeah the marriage now she's on the, now this person he or she they're on the lookout here two of wands they're like hmm who can i make my next victim here <laughs> This is someone who is like, they're like a scout hunter, right? They're like a, they're like a potential wifey, husband, material scout hunter, right? Like, like, hmm, who can I make my next target? This is a black widow, yo. This is a black widow right here. This is someone that just like looks for men to devour them, basically, or women, the other way around, taking how it resonates, man. The mirror, this person needs to look in the mirror. <laughs> Okay, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection, yeah. This person definitely has wounds. This definitely, probably, most likely has something to do with their own upbringing, their own um, view of a family model, okay, family dynamic. There's something here within them that they have not healed and they're running away from their healing. They don't want to heal. They don't want to fix themselves because you know what that would mean? That would mean being independent. That would mean actually working hard. That would mean acceptance of being alone. Okay. If you want to heal this kind of a, um, an issue, you have, to ex you have to go into the acceptance of maybe being alone for the rest of your life. And this person, no way in hell. No way. They cannot accept having to be alone. They would rather stay in an unhappy, unfulfilling marriage than be alone. And that's, that's the issue. That's the biggest issue. That's what you have to heal. Confirmation over there. If you want to find your soulmate, if you want to find someone that is meant for you, someone that is good for you, you have to go through the healing first. And it starts with accepting being alone and building your life centering your life around look i need to make things work in a way where i can take care of myself even if i am alone for the rest of my life because if you're constantly looking for relationships or commitments because you're looking for someone to make your life easier like god or the universe the divine is just going to keep recycling those same relationships in your life that are karmic because you're refusing to learn that lesson. You're just gonna keep getting the same toxic relationships. That's all you're gonna be attracting because you're gonna be attracting people that like you refuse to heal, okay? That can't be alone. That's the kind of people you're gonna attract, people that can't be alone, people that are only in relationships out of shallow materialistic reasons, right? Financial reasons, that's all you're gonna get. You're not gonna get a deep love, caring, nurturing relationship when you have not healed. Nobody, because no healed person is gonna deal with, a, with an individual like this. This person is only gonna attract people that are like them. Any healed individual that knows what they are bringing to the table that knows how to be alone that knows what um the value of commitment that you know if they're going to give to someone or give money or take care of someone then they want the same in return nobody that is independent on their feet um having a good job you know very 
selective about who they're being with is gonna go for someone like this that just wants to be taken care of. It's true, okay? It's not gonna attract. They're not gonna attract what they're looking for. They're only gonna attract people that are like them. So, okay, well, that's their choice, I guess. What's the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, <laughs> girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used. They want someone that they can use and they will attract someone that wants to use them. This person will try to charm someone else just like someone else will try to charm them. It's just the same thing. Okay? She's or he they're looking for someone that's just going to pamper them, that's just going to want, you know, let them be a housewife and they're going to get taken care of like a little, you know, adult baby. They're going to attract someone that doesn't have a problem bringing home the money, but all they want is someone that's going to cook for them, clean for them, do their laundry, take care of everything for them. They're just going to attract like an adult baby. Okay, so now two adult babies are in a relationship with each other, okay? But with one person, they don't feel like working and the other person doesn't feel like doing shit for themselves. So it's the same thing, if you get what I'm saying. You need to, if you want, <laughs> you attract what you are. You attract what you are, okay? And if you're in a really toxic relationship, you have to think about what is this mirroring to me? Because your relationship reflects something back to you. It reflects something that you have not healed within yourself. Okay? Um, and, that's, and that's really how it is. You just have to figure out why, you know, what am I not healing, okay? That I'm stuck in a toxic relationship. And this person, I don't even know if they realize, like, how toxic this actually is. That they want to be bound to someone. They don't want someone to leave them divorce because they want someone to take care of them. I mean, do they even realize how selfish that sounds out loud? Have they said that out loud and realized how selfish that actually is? That they want to keep someone with them because they are an adult baby? I don't know. Okay. What's the nine of wands? Have faith, love is coming. Have faith, love is coming. They have, they're, you know, have faith, love is coming. So they have faith that love will come to them, but they're stuck in outdated thinking where they don't feel like work, they don't feel like putting the work in, they're lazy, um, they, they're, they, they don't feel like working for anything in their life, they have no discipline, they want shit to fall in their lap, like, they're salty about their own um they're 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 salty about or they're disappointed and feel rejected about their um their atm walking out the door i mean but they have faith love is coming this, none of this screams love all of this screams wishful thinking okay like it's an illusion that they're like i don't know it's a little bit delusional if you ask me Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they 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 want to be a sugar baby, yo. I'm telling you, this person wants to be a sugar baby. Okay, they want to be a sugar baby. That's what I'm gonna call this reading too. This person wants to be a sugar baby, <laughs> and you walked away from them, and you said no, thank you, divorce, hierophant reverse. You divorced from a sugar baby. Okay, <laughs> really, you did. The fool, you said, we get me the fuck out of there. <laughs> You said, get me the fuck away from this sugar baby. I am jumping off that cliff, yo. I don't even care if I hit the ground or not. As long as I get out of here and feel free. Free me from these chains, Lord. Free me from the chains. <laughs> Lord, I feel born again. Wee! Yo, it's so funny. Seven of Pentacles. It's like, I've worked my ass off for where I've gone. And you are a lazy sugar baby here, the hermit. Yeah, you went within about this one. <laughs> you went within about this one. You're like, I'm the one doing all the fucking hard work around here. You're not doing shit. Seven of Wands reverse. You're like, I don't feel like putting up with this anymore. I really don't feel like putting up with this anymore. This is a burden. This is a burden, okay? It's just a burden. Like, 
honestly, if you're a masculine, it's like, it's giving me like, you know, men want love too, but this is not love. This was not love. This was not compatibility or nothing. This was an obligation. This probably felt like a lot of hard work. It felt like you were obligated to be there. You were obligated to, you know, take care of this person and they want to be pampered. It's like, that's not love, man. That's not love, okay? The Queen of Wands. So what's closing words here for Pisces? Closing words is that you don't, you're, what's the Knight of Wands? The Knight of Swords. The Ace of Swords. You definitely have clarity in, on this. You have clarity and you walked away. You know exactly what this person wants from you, why they're sticking around, why they don't want to give up, why they want to, you know, they hope that love is coming. They want to talk. Please let us talk. You're like, what's there to talk about? I already know what this is, man. I'm walking away. I'm, I'm leaving. The Seven of Cups and this person is left behind delusional. Like they don't understand. It's like how... This person is delusional. This strength. The Knight of Wands. Yes. This is somebody that thinks that, like, you know, if I just sleep with you, isn't that enough? Like, no. If I sleep with you, if I seduce you, isn't that enough? Isn't that love? If there's passion, no. No. No, it's not enough. No. Passion and lust is not enough. Okay? Definitely not. King of Cups. Yeah, you need emotions. Okay? You need emotions. You need love. You need emotions. The star. You want a new beginning. The six of pentacles. You want back what you give. You want equal give and take. This is not equal give and take. The eight of this is a trap it's a trap it's a marriage trap it's a baby trap it's a it's a sugar baby trap okay that's what that is king of wands yeah all right i'm gonna leave it at that okay all right pisces <laughs> yeah keep going your own way man wherever you are this is your confirmation okay don't go back <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.